Hi, welcome back to Bake Bites. I'm Maria and today I'm going to show you how to make a chocolate barrel cake finished with 24 karat gold. Be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Anyway, that's enough talking. It's cake time. I'm starting off with two 7 inch by 3 inch high chocolate cakes, leveling them off in three even layers. With your simple syrup, give the cake layers a good soaking. Now let's stack and fill our cake. With ganache in a piping bag, create a ring around your first layer of cake. Fill that with chocolate mousse, then place your next layer of cake on top. Fill this layer with delicious vanilla Swiss meringue buttercream. Repeat this process until you've stacked and filled all your cake layers. Using your offset spatula, smooth off the little bits of buttercream on the sides of the cake. Pop it in the fridge for 15 minutes to firm up. Now let's create our crumb coat. Using your trusty offset spatula, smooth on some buttercream. Pop it in the fridge for another 15 minutes to chill. Onto our final coat of buttercream. We are going for the semi-naked cake finish here, so once you have applied your buttercream, Use your bench scraper or a spatula to smooth and remove excess buttercream off the cake. You don't want to take too much off. Remember, it's only semi-naked. Once you're happy with the final coat, pop it in the fridge to chill. Let's make our white chocolate drips. I pop the ganache in a piping bag, but you can use a spoon here as well. Place it back in the fridge to set before we paint these drips in gold. With a steady hand and a thin paintbrush, paint your drips gold. Don't worry too much if you get paint onto the cake. It will all tie in with the finished look. I pre-made chocolate sails to dress this cake. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to see a tutorial on how these are made. Using the same gold paint, I'm painting the rim of my larger sail, splattered my second sail, and keeping the last one plain. Then I'm dusting some Raffaello balls in gold. I love the textured look on these. Now let's put this showstopper together. Position where you want to place your sail, then gently press it into the cake. Pipe a little bit of ganache to support the sail. Position the other two sails like you see here. To finish this cake off, let's add our gold Raffaello balls, chocolate macarons, and some edible gold leaf. Wow! How magical does this cake look? She's a true showstopper and that gold just pops. Thanks again for watching guys and let me know in the comments down below what you want to see next on future episodes. So, who wants a slice? See ya.